Alright, let's see. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, my audio got rerouted to the TV, and that was not coming through the live stream. So um, we appreciate you guys just listening to silence for 15 minutes. But uh, sorry about that. But uh, we're back up and running, and everything should be good. So if there's any sound problems further, let us know. But everything looks good on mine, and we'll get the show started. Um, the first topic we were going to go to tonight was the wall. <clears throat> and um, I guess the main point that we wanted to get at with the wall is that it's, it's really not going to do anything that it's designed for. Um, it's it's not going to stop the influx of illegal immigrants. It's not going to stop terrorists, especially when you know the government's the one helping plot the terrorist attacks. Um, exactly. It's not going to stop the drug trade um, because they're behind that too. So, you know this this wall is utterly useless. <sighs> It's a waste of tax money. Nobody wants it. Nobody's in really support. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, there are some people in support of it. You know, my, you know, my personal opinion is it's going to further divide us as a country. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was talking, you know, when we were, I didn't realize we were talking, like, 15 minutes to blank air, but, you know, like, I mean, you know, the, um, I know the horror stories when you, uh, sorry, I'm getting feedback, like, mad. I got to turn off my laptop. You guys sounds pretty bad, man. <clears throat> but no, I mean, like, you know, how much is this wall going to cost? That, you know, going to cost? It's really going to accomplish nothing. It's, it's, it's utterly insane. And I was talking about, you know, like, you know, like, you know, you know, why is Mex, you know, why is it only in Mexico? You know, like, what, like, it, it, the, there's a, there's a big border in Canada. It's, it's, it's retarded. For me personally, I, I don't believe in borders or anything. I think everything should be open, you know. That's just me. Anybody else on here? No. Yeah, so what I was saying about it was, you know, uh, it's basically fear propagating. It's propaganda to create more fear. You're going to want to give all your rights up. You already have rights constitutionally if you are an American citizen that's devoted to democracy. You know, you should be able to travel unmolested through this country, and if that's crossing both borders on the north and south and then back in, and you already can't do that to a certain extent, but the wall can make it that much more strict. And, I mean, you think about all the taxes that are going to go up from it and everything else. Plus, you've got another fight on your hands with the tribe down there. The tribe does not want anything going through the reservation at all. They don't even want those people there to even go and look and see how it would be built, let alone going and being on their land to build something. So, uh, like you said, there's too many people that don't want this to happen. And there's only a certain amount of people that are scared. They're so fear-stricken. That they don't even, you know, they lock their doors when their neighbors come out of their house, walk to their car. So, you know, to break down that 
and to break down those fears, we can't have those walls going up. Yeah, and I was uh, talking about this earlier. Shout out to Anonymous Legion Mexico. You guys rock. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this one. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you on that one. Well, I, I personally like see the wall as more of a metaphor thing that they're doing. Like it's it wall goes up and it it is racist and those people that buy fear mongering and everything and you know the, those people that are afraid they're oh look at my government protecting me they're doing good they're doing so good and then you know it's just feel like they've won a major war dude we've defeated the brown people we got them out those dirty mexicans are never coming in our country again but i mean that's not the case um they've got Massive tunnel systems that cross the border. So, oh yeah, there's a lot of drugs coming over the border every fucking day. And you know, here's the and here's the harder part about it. You know, is that there's a lot of uh, drugs being made here in America. It accomplishes nothing. <laughs> maybe Trump is maybe Trump is just uh, really fun. <laughs> well, then he should he should build around his Trump Tower. Where he can never come out. <laughs> Because he said all immigrants should go, and he's an immigrant, and that. I don't see anybody with a green card from the Bureau of Indian Affairs. And so until they can say that, all the racist haters just need to stop. They're on stolen land, so they can just accept that and be peaceful about it instead of trying to push this racist agenda to say that we don't need any more illegal immigrants coming in. I mean, Jesus, this started in 1492. None of them were legally coming over here. And I'm not trying to be hateful to anybody. I love everybody, and I don't want to kick anyone off of this land. I just want everybody to be here and live in love. And part of that is getting rid of that fear and that bias, saying that, oh, because they live 20 minutes south of the border, they're somehow not human or not allowed to be here. <sighs> Any other input? Yeah, I think the KKK would prefer Obama. <laughs> 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 I bet they would because they didn't find dead KKK leaders in rivers under Obama. Right. <laughs> So, like I was, like I was telling you, like this. Um, I don't. So I used to know this guy. He's always like, you know, I've, I've, I've voiced drugs and blah 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 blah. So I used to know this guy, right? And uh, he used to tell me, like back in the '60s, there really was. Um, you just, Sam. Yeah, man, we've lost, we've lost Tyler. Oh man. <laughs> I think it was, I think it was the wall. You think, you think they got him behind the wall? <laughs> the wall so high it cut out a cell phone reception. Oh shit. <laughs> That's another issue is it's there's going to be a lot of animal migration through that area that's going to be off. Tyler is completely gone. 
hoping it would um he would connect back. Josie's still here though. Hmm. What were we talking about earlier? Right? About Illuminati, you know. I mean, the term is is pretty loosely used. Yeah. I mean, they probably don't get together and you know say amongst themselves in. You know, Know we're the Illuminati, but uh, I mean it's it's definitely a term that's used to describe this upper class that does definitely exist. Yeah, man. It's like uh, between ten to six, why trapped in that and masonry, so the masonry and the occult being mixed together. Mm-hmm. And got kind of secret societies and you know all different kind of weird shit sorry my um my ass on me I had to restart my device nah you were hiding behind the wall <laughs> nah so he hey, was like he got back over here so he could connect <laughs> you know me, I'm, I'm always in trouble with the law for one thing or another So, um, I guess you can continue with your story there, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with it. <laughs> but I'm just saying that, you know, like, I mean, there was no problem. But, you know, what's all the hype about this, like, fucking wall? It just creates more fucking noise than anything else. You know, there's torn families. Um, you know, people, people country. For all for different reasons, some of them good, some of them. But I can't judge people by you know by any anything. People are very diverse. It causes a, a lot of problems, you know. Like, you know, I, I know you know a lot of my friends are Hispanic, and you know they're really good people. I have no clue why you know there's a border. <laughs> I, I believe you know. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's trying to uh, start a kind of intro. Maybe maybe he's trying to bring in the American. Oh, uh, where they divide the Americans off in part of the New World Order? They divide the Americans off from each other. Division. Well, yeah, the the Amero was something that Bush had proposed. I think it was uh, Bush. A new currency called the Amero. A lot of people think it was like bullshit, but it was... Uh, Something they were actually planning, and then the Amero. Uh, no. Does anybody even know what happened to the Amero? I think it got buried mm-hmm. under the wall. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, the Amero no, was I... probably buried under the, under the Twin Towers, man. No, it looks like this guy that that had said that they actually um, started printing out the Amero. And like, uh, and not in mass quantity. He actually had one. I couldn't verify if it was real or not. I mean, anybody, anybody who's anybody can get like a fucking really good printer and print anything. You know? as, as the government, the government you print power is is just going to be small for the people. It's still playing food print. Food for shit. I've never voted in my life. Do you agree with that, guys? Or? Yeah, voting, uh, it doesn't accomplish anything. You know, there was a guy that was talking about it, um, the Hispanics, uh, or <laughs> <laughs> anarchist. Uh, yeah, his, his, <laughs> sorry, Hispanic ar- uh, anarchist. Might have been an arsonist, too. You never know. Well, no, he was, um, there was a couple people that came to this conclusion that when you're voting, you're supporting something that either you want to be a part of or not. And then the people who don't vote have to agree with the stuff that everybody has voted for. Felon and Red. 
Thank you, America. <laughs> um, also, when you start voting, you know, also 